Hey, what's going on guys? It's Augustus Liebertus back with a new Minecraft video. And today, we are continuing the How to Minecraft Survival Series. My survival series where I show some tips and tricks and also just some hidden information that you may not know about. As well as just watching me survive. And so today, we are going to be building a new house. Now... I know this is a pretty great house right here, but to be honest, it's kind of small. And I want to have lots of space for um, cool decorative builds in my house and stuff. And like, I can't really decorate this house. There's not a whole lot of space here to work with. So we're going to be, be building a new huge one, probably somewhere over by the village. This will be like our farmhouse shed thing. So I'm going to hop on Shadowfax and let's go see what good areas there are to potentially build a house. So I'm going to build this out of dark oak wood and cobblestone and also birch wood too. I'm going to be using a little bit of birch wood in addition because um it'll need some my house will need some contrast. And I think the birch wood will do nicely. So just keep on going. Let's see. Um yeah, I think right out here I'll do quite nicely. Right here. Maybe not right here. Maybe more like <clears throat> right over here. Yeah. I like this spot. So first what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, a little area. Kind of like what I did at the Tower of power netherrack tower thing is I make a chest and then I dump a bunch of the resources I'm gonna need just so that I'll have plenty of space to store items with to work with so I guess I'll just head back and keep bringing in you know what it actually might be better to go by boat So I found out you can cross deep water with a horse if you just keep him jumping. See? Because typically he would kick me off, but because I keep his head always above water, he doesn't. Because if a horse's head gets above, or gets below water, rather, they actually dump you off and just bob up and down in place. Let's bring some coal. Lots of dirt. Um, fence, sticks, ladders. I don't know exactly all I'm gonna use. Might take some buckets. Don't need the rotten flesh. And glass. Definitely need that. We'll definitely also need more of it. I guess that's all I need. Okay, well, I think Shadow Facts, I think I'm just gonna leave you here just so you don't wander off and get lost. I'll go by boat. Since we're just like right over here, I think. So I remember this mushroom. Yep. Right here. Okay, so I think the first thing we need to do 
because we need to fill in this area and flatten it out until it's all um one flat layer I think hmm, that's pretty much already done I guess just a little bit more this way place out a bit. I think actually if I just move this back my little work area back, so it'll actually be a lot easier. meant to take half the coal. Looks like I... Oh, I must have already had some. Okay, that's why. I like my bread in my inventory, thank you. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to chop down some trees because this is going to require a lot of wood. So I think I'll do this in a time lapse. This is the last part of the tree, of, or the last part of the last tree <clears throat> that I chopped down, so I think we're good. I wore out one and a half axes on trees, so I feel like that's a pretty decent amount. And we got a good amount of wood, too. And I killed a chicken because some creepers and skeletons attacked me from behind. And I saw a chicken give me a look. And as you know, all chickens are spies. 
So I killed him. Because all chickens are spies. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of like a randomly shaped house out of 90 degree angles. So I'm just going to kind of walk around like this. And see what kind of shape we end up with and tweak it some... See what happens. So I'll have to probably block up more of this cave here. Although I do like how there's a pond right in the backyard like that. That would be kind of, that's kind of neat. I definitely think this need, this part needs to be a wider. Oh yeah, I also in the past episode made a silk touch effic efficiency five diamond pickaxe with from the fish farm, and so I used that to get up a bunch of stone because I'd kind of like to create like a fortress slash castle around that at some point. I don't know if we'll get around to that, but I'd like to. So I think this is a pretty decent shape. I, just, I hate building this tall grass. It is just the worst. That's the one thing about building the plains. Anywhere else, it's not really an issue because it's not really there. Um, but here, it's just so annoying. And so, I just, I just like to get rid of all of it. Mow the lawn. <laughs> Nice out in Minecraft. Wax, wax plants, and you can get rid of them. Whereas in real life, you'd have to get a lawnmower, you'd have to give it some sort of a power source, and then you'd have to plug it in and go around in a specific area, and it grows back. All the grass that you mow grows back. But in Minecraft, not the case. Mm, very conveniently, I'd say. So I kind of want to go four blocks higher than this. Uh, six blocks higher, actually, so... One, five more, so two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll build over like this. And then drop down, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm creating a really interestingly shaped house because it gives it a lot of um, character and uh, gives you a lot of opportunities to mess around and make it a really unique house and give it a cool design and stuff. So we're gonna be using stone slabs, birch wood, dark oak wood, and maybe even some nether brick would kind of look cool in places. Oops, don't want there. Ah. As a good complement color with the rest of the um, dark, it would also, because I kind of like the idea of having dark bricks, so I think it would go good with the birch floor, and then we'll also use stone bricks for, or either stone bricks or stone slabs for wherever we want to have, like, a hard floor, like in a kitchen or a bathroom. <laughs> I don't know that we'll have bathrooms. Ah! 
I l just, it's just my favorite when my sprint key decides, hey, I'm gonna go on strike, and I just fall off. I died my first time in the end because of that. In one of my let's plays, I didn't film it, but I fell off right away trying to build to the original end platform because I was on the obsidian platform a little bit um, away from it and I just fell right off and well I kind of decided to give myself all my items back because it just wasn't fair I tip I'll do things like that occasionally if it was just not fair like a glitch or something or it just gave out then I'll fix it. I think this honestly needs to come back this way some more still. Like this. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. really like the shape of this though it's coming in pretty nicely and then we'll have plenty of space for decorating we can make this place look really nice have a nice big storage with chests labeled for different items and we won't need a basement for it hey oh I see yeah oops I dug a little bit too far. Or I went out. Well, yeah. I built out a little bit too far, and then I also went out that way and forgot to get rid of the grass. How are we looking on wood? Okay, we're good. We be doing good. There we go. Yeah. I like this. I like it a lot. Well, I suppose we'll just have to build up the cobblestone and then we can punch in windows where we see fit and work on the floor. And yeah, see how that looks. I'm back and when I w was off camera, I put in all the cobblestone and I also wiped out a bunch of birch um, trees so that we can do the floor. Yay! I hope this is going to be enough because this is a pretty big house. I'll have to just see. But I guess I just need to dig, 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 dig. And I've decided the front door is going to be there. Because I figured that would be a good place for it. And I might even have a back door like here or here. But I guess I need a new shovel and a new helmet. I think I can only take about 11 more hits and then my helmet will just break. Z Zombie, just... <laughs> yeah, just do that. Oh, crud. Sell for arrows. Don't blow up my house, you punk. You blow up my house, and unfortunately, I can't do anything to you because you would be dead. That's the one thing about creepers. I kind of wish they, like, threw TNT or something so that, like, or laid TNT bombs or something so that you could kill them when the. Uh, hello there. Um. Take that spider eye. I don't want it. So that you could get revenge on them blowing up your 
special structures and hard time and effort put into those projects. But no, you can't. You just gotta live with them being killed. At least they're not like super fast or anything. I mean, they are pretty camouflaged sometimes, and they can be, um, they can be like that. And they can be pretty sneaky, but they're not too bad. And at least they can't climb walls or anything like a spider, or have sensing abilities like a zombie. Although I'm glad zombies can't sense you through walls anymore. And I think spiders can't anymore either. I'm not sure if slimes still can. But they had that ability at one point in time. Ah, daytime. Excellent. I love the day. It's so nice. Well, I guess I'll just continue digging all this out. Well, um, that's that. I think it looks pretty good now. <clears throat> yeah, it looks really nice. Although, I just think the one thing that needs to change is... We need to dig out some more of the grass right in front of the house here, because... It's a wee bit right up against the door. And I want to make a nice looking door. Right now I just have a hole in the wall. Although this building is not a hole in the wall. The door is a hole in the wall. So I think that'll do. And maybe a bit more. There we go. <clears throat> That's much better. So, n what I've been doing is I would put the planks in my off hand, and then I would have my <clears throat> axe in my main hand, so that if I made any mistakes, I could immediately break them while I was placing the wood. So now I think what needs to happen is we need to figure out window placement. So I think from the outside, I'll just bust some holes in the wall. And then we can double check some from the inside, make sure they look okay. Actually, I kind of like that, just like that. Let's dig. Let's do this. Uh, no, I'll just dig out this whole area and make a nice big window. I think that'll honestly look better. Yeah, from inside it looks nice. That'll look better though when it has the glass in it. Should we split this one in half, maybe? Oh, my pickaxe really sped up there for a second. It's a little bit strange. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Yeah, let's go with that. Then back here, we'll just dig this whole space out. 
Because I want this to be really light. I almost... Or really well lit. I almost considered actually making like a space in between floors to put redstone wires. So I could actually have light switches for, the, for some redstone lamps. But I decided, you know what, that's a bit excessive. And it would look a little weird. So I decided not to do it. And then we'll actually put a back door here. So maybe... If there's a back door there, then I guess... A small window on either side, maybe? Or just the one side? Or what if I move... Th no, I can't move the door over. I think that looks okay. This is gonna be really nice looking. So I watched um, some of Grian's videos on how not to build to see if I was maybe making some major building mistakes. <clears throat> and I was doing okay. Uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But um, he talked about how making a really weird shape kind of gives it character and makes it unique. And I thought uh, I would try it because typically I had some very symmetrical houses and I thought it was time maybe we should mix it up because like Cozy Cottage, totally symmetrical. But if you don't have it symmetrical, then you don't have a whole lot of restriction with your with the way you want to build you can kind of play around with it hi um i need arrows why do i not have arrows still i need to fix that probably gonna cover up this hole here because it's just spitting mobs at this point jeez come on guys just go go die i know that's a bit harsh but seriously just leave. Anyway. I watched Green's videos and he said like like I just said, he told me or he said in his video, he didn't tell me, that um it's a lot easier to build asymmetrically because then if you build anything else you don't have to have you don't have to stick to a super symmetrical design which is really helpful I personally think I think this definitely needs to have something there or maybe even split it into three windows Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could kind of do that. I could do like. Do that. And that looks okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? can tell me in the comment section down below or something. Oh my goodness, I know what I think. I need to sleep or something. This all night, I've just been a Seriously? I hate zombies. If you hit one, all nearby zombies in the area... Area... Come to Are you serious? Creepers! Why? What did I ever do to you? Oh, whatever. So I think this will be two, maybe three stories tall. Can you guys?
guy's just ser oh, he's picked that up. Well, I think this place looks great so far. Let's see how it looks from the outside. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I like it. Yeah. So now what I think I want to do is actually over here, I'm going to block this up and we'll have a stairway here and then we'll make the windows to fit the stairway somehow maybe. And then I'll actually have to block up this part to some, make it a much smaller window but definitely needed. So now I want to kind of have it go like this and I need to go back and grab some stone slabs and some iron but I want to have it go up this way and I'll have stone slabs but I guess I need to go get them to be able to tell where I need to put stuff so I guess we should go do that. Alright, I'm back with some stone. I'm not sure quite how much I'm going to use, so I, I brought quite a bit. But let's make some... What? Um... Hello? Oh, there's two pages. Okay. That makes sense now. I was like, eh, what? I, I'm pretty sure I have what I need. Oh, that was a little weird. So let's do like this. This is more like realistic stairs, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm also not going to do much with the top right now because I haven't decided quite how I'm going to do it. I know the top layer is going to be a lot smaller than the uh, bottom layer but I think it's going to come up a little bit more like that so now we could actually make like a bit of a we could make an opening here and make some extra storage sort of like a coat closet kinda thing I don't know I'm still deciding what all we're going to do. I think maybe I also need some, like, cobblestone, um, some cobblestone slabs. I don't know. Let's try it with the cobblestone slabs. I'm peeling cobblestone slabs. Let's put all this crap I have away. Why do I have so much stuff? Actually, I know perfectly well why I have so much stuff, because I keep killing things. So I think here... Hmm, here it's a little bit odd. Hmm. I think there definitely needs to be something there. But then I almost feel like I need to do something there. I don't know. Up here it's pretty straightforward. Just do like that. And then you get here and things get weird. I don't know, but I'm definitely digging the uh, cobblestone slabs. I think it looks a lot better like that. Do I have tor- why do I not have torches on me? How did that happen? Well, that's why I brought coal. Hmm. Put some more of this junk away. I know I just made a lot of torches, but I have a reason. 
Can I not? Mm. I guess I'll have to place torches on the walls, I guess, then. So let's do, like, at each window, sort of. Oh, why do I not have a, why do I not have a window here? I feel like I should most definitely have a window here. Yeah, there we go. So for right now, we'll just place that there. And then on the inside and outside of the house, I want to place torches on the outsides of the windows to not only light up the um, the outside, but also the inside as well. I don't know. I might have to put in some like chandeliers or something. I won't swing from them, but we might, ha we might have to have some chandeliers. And this way, when I put torches, this many torches on it, it just has a very um, organized look, and it also makes it pretty well lit. Now on the inside, I do pretty much the same thing. Hmm. I guess here that's kind of difficult to do. Maybe I just won't have a window here. I feel like I don't really need it slash want it. Although I think this will be the kitchen back here. Because it's nice and open and there's more windows right there in that concentrated spot. And then this will probably be like the dining room here. Oh, I just have so many ideas popping into my head right now. This is going to be such a nice house. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, but I think, I think for today, I think this, we're going to, oh, I, I forgot to replace my helmet. I think we're going to stop here. If you want to see me continue this, then leave a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments if there's something you want to see and i'll see you guys in the next video see you in a bit